Hey guys, so next up we're going to take a look at taking a look, I cannot get those phrases straight lately, taking a look at the Earthrise 2-pack of Thundercracker and Skywarp. Uh, I just now acquired these guys because I wasn't mainline collecting during Earthrise, so I just found them for a price I didn't hate. No box, but I don't care, they're complete. So, here we have them, the Thundercracker, Skywarp, and then of course, here is Starscream. Because you know they're all the same. Now, this is the Studio Series one, but it's the same mold as the as the uh, Earthrise one. So, it's all good. It's all good. Um, but yeah, they, they look really nice. This is the first time I've had the Seekers as the same mold. Because I have Thundercracker, Skywarp, and Starscream in Masterpiece. But I have them each as different molds. So I have the original MP3 mold as, as Skywarp, MP11 as Thundercracker, and then MP52 as Starscream. So I, just, I have them all in different molds. This time, I have them all as the same mold. Um, I don't think I'll be getting the Coneheads, because I don't care about them. But I did want Thundercracker and Skywarp, so. They look really cool. Um, Thundercracker's all nice and blue, as he should be. And Skywarp is black and purple, as he should be. And they look really nice. Um... The big issue with these guys is they were in a Target exclusive 2-pack in Earthrise. And as people may remember, Earthrise's exclusives, the distribution on them was horrible. So people were not able to get these guys. And if you want them now, good fucking luck. So I got these for 70 bucks loose. Two Voyagers for 70 bucks nowadays is basically what that would cost. So... We're going to go ahead and transform them now. I'm going to show the transformation on Thundercracker, and then I'll cut away and have the other one transform because they transform the same, and I don't want to show it twice in one video. So, transform them. We're going to remove the Null Rays. Move Skywarp's wing out of the way so he's not distracting anybody. We'll flip this waist up, flip these wings, take these wings and flip them up like that. Pull this down, and then straighten out the legs, and then close the knees up. Straighten that out, like that, and then flip the front of the feet up. And then we'll stand him, push down his armor. And then we'll disconnect all of that, open that up, pull that forward, flip that up, and then flip this out to close that, and flip out the fist. Boom, boom. And then we'll take this, rotate it, push it down, and then we'll close the whole thing up. And then we'll flip this nose cone down to close all that up. And there you go. Thundercracker in his robot mode after we plug the null rays in. Now let's get Skywarp ready, and we will talk about their articulation. Yes, we will. And now we've got Skywarp here. So this is what you come with. Something I don't understand is why Skywarp has a screaming face. Where Thundercracker has a neutral face. And Starscream also has a neutral face. Yeah, by the way, here's Starscream. So here's the three of them together. So that's neat. Um, anyway, as I was saying... Yeah, they have, um, he has a screaming face. It's really strange. Articulation on these guys. We'll do it on Skywarp, so like the transformation on Thundercracker. Um, he's got a full 360 at the head. Well, they do. If you bend the wing back, you can do a almost full 360 at the arm. You gotta fudge it, but you can do it. Turn at the bicep. Elbow joint. No wrist swivel. No waist swivel, but his legs can go forward. They can't really go back. They can go in and out. Turn up there. Knee joint. Ankle pivot. So they've got pretty much the articulation you would want, except maybe a waist level, which I think they could have figured out an engineer in. And a wrist level, which again, I think they could have figured out an engineer in. The only difference between this guy, these guys, and the Starscream is that the Starscream has opening hands. That's the only mold change they did in the Studio Series one. But like, like I said, I think this is a fun mold. Um, I've always liked it. Um, as Starscream, and now having a Thundercracker and Skywarp, I like it also. I like these guys a little bit more because my Starscream, he's gotten a little loose on his leggies. So these guys feel a lot more solid. 
and that's good. So, yeah, definitely, if you can find these for a reasonable price, not over 100, I'd say no more than 85, then yeah, pick them up. They're a good pickup, especially if you don't have them already. Hopefully they do a reissue in the Studio Series. That'd be neat. I'd love a new Seeker mold, but I just don't think we're getting that anytime soon. I think we're going to stick with this for a while, so... But yeah, definitely pick these up for sure if you haven't gotten them. Um, find the funds for them. And definitely get... Starscream is still readily available everywhere. Um, and he's going for really cheap. So yeah, definitely, definitely get these guys. Um, they will definitely complete your Decepticon display for sure. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video and stick around for more. Take care.